Hey friends, let's take a look at how to import your transactions from your Apple MasterCard. So you can see on the screen that I have, you can see my iPhone screen. And I am working in an iPhone. I'm sorry, I don't know how this works on an Android. Um, I assume that you can have an Apple MasterCard. I don't know about the wallet. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how that works. So specifically, this is using an iPhone to export your Apple MasterCard transactions and import them into YNAB. Let's just for clarification. Okay, so the first step is to open the wallet on your iPhone and then tap on your Apple MasterCard. Next, you tap on the card balance and then you come down and find the statement that you want to export. Whichever one that is, I mean, I would assume, let's not make any assumptions. You're importing your most current um, statement with your most current transactions on it. Now you can't export the current current transactions. You can only export and then import from a statement. So these are not your most current up-to-date transactions. Anyway, so once you have chosen, you can see here uh, I have statements. There's nothing in my January statement, so there's no point in sharing, showing you that one. So I'll take the statement with the most, uh, most current statement with transactions. You click on that statement, and at the bottom you will see here, now you can download this statement as a PDF or you can export it. In this case, what we're trying to do is export it. It gives you several file format options. You can choose CSV for comma separated values. YNAB can import CSV files. It works better though if you import uh, QFX. So I recommend, unless you have another reason, uh, uh, Unless you have a good reason for preferring something else, I recommend QFX. So we will export as QFX that then, now I have a, the choice of where I want to put that file. I'm going to actually just send that via Dropbox to my Mac. I could save it in my files. Uh, I could put it in Dropbox. I could um, email it to myself. I could, uh, you know, save it in however you want to save it. You could save it to your files. Once it is saved, you move on to the next step. So now you can see that I'm on my desktop here and I have downloaded and then sent to my computer my QFX file. And, and it's in my downloads folder. Now the next step is simply to drag that and drop that on top of YNAB. And it recognizes yeah, I'm in this, uh, in my Apple MasterCard account already. So it recognizes that I'm trying to import into that. <clears throat> uh, it wants to know if I want to include the three transactions uh, dated before this. I can see what these transactions are then, and then I can import those. Now I'm going to go ahead and import those. Those actually matched transactions that I already had in here, but you can see that that's what that looks like. So there you go. This is exporting your Apple MasterCard credit card transactions from a statement, not the most current ones. But if you, uh, uh, so the MasterCard, your Apple MasterCard, you cannot connect through YNAB's import function. But you can, if you don't do point of sale entry, if you don't enter your transactions, as you make your purchases, which asterisk here is definitely recommended, but if you're not in a position to do that, if there's 
reason why you don't do that. This is how you can export and then import these transactions into YNAB. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, all the yada yada is like the video, subscribe if you want to. But um, until next time, I'll see you later.